I haven't taken one of these brakes off before, but I um, can't see it being too difficult. From what I can see, some kind of adjuster here. And then there's three bolts that hold this sort of bracket here. It looks like it's on some kind of a hinge thing. On. So I'm assuming undo the three bolts, undo the adjuster, take off the brake line. Should fall off. Let's see how we go on. So first of all, let me just... I'm not expecting this to be any fluid in here, to be honest. It's a 10 mil. Got this just in case to catch any residue. Like I thought, dry. Dry as a bone. Take off the adjuster. It's a flat head on the other side. Didn't need to worry about that. And there's a slot in there as well. I just wonder. It's threaded. Not quite sure what happens on the other end, but we'll see. In the meantime, I won't lose the bolt. So that's those. Oh, did I have a drip then? Yeah, I think I did. Proved me wrong. So that was a 10. That was a 10. The three on this side got to be 13. So let's have them out. Maybe not. Let's try a 12. Well, I've got the front caliper off, I've got the master cylinder off, I'm going to strip these down, check the seals, check the pistons and such like, um, recondition them, get them ready to go. I've got a new uh, line kit to go with it, uh, which I use most of. Once I've got them ready, I can move on, have a look at the forks and such like, but let's get them sorted first so that I'm not waiting for them. That's all of that apart, except for not taking the piston out yet. Uh, it can be a bit of a nuisance, uh, there's a few ways of getting them out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them to soak, leave it to soak for a bit in some penetrating oil, and I'll probably use compressed air in the end, but I'll tell you about that later. So I'm going to put all of that to one side now with a bit of penetrating oil in there, and then I'll give me attention to the uh, master cylinder. Stripping the master cylinder is a bit, can be a bit of a faff. Basically, you've got access down that little hole there. There should be a rubber boot that keeps muck out of this. Mine was missing. And inside of here 
you have a little clip that holds your rubber boot in then you have a circlip and this is the bit that you'll struggle with to get out the circlip is actually quite deep down and you need circlip pliers that have got a fair old reach on them to get into it and to bring it out once the circlip's out you should be able to get the piston out one way or another it's got a little washer that sits on it the piston itself this is the secondary cap they call it it's like a little rubber piston that's the primary cap with the rubber piston you have a spring and then you have a check valve all right now looking down inside here i can see it's quite shiny where the actual um, piston thing goes uh, i think it'll clean up quite well what you've got to watch for is you don't want to put any scratches long because if you do that's where brake fluid could leak past here so that when you're squeezing your brakes on it's not giving you the best efficiency uh, if you have any concerns at all about repairing something like this don't do it give it to somebody else or buy a new one because brakes are the crucial bit you don't want to rely on something that you've bodged Right then, I'm giving everything a good clean. I'm not going to reuse these. I've got a nice new kit. They're not very expensive. And I would always recommend you just use the new kit. Once that's clean, once I've got the caliper clean, I'll have a look at putting it all back together. Building the uh, master cylinder. I'm really pleased with the way that uh, the bore's cleaned up. <clears throat> what I do, give everything a good lubricating with brake fluid I used some hot water to heat up the rubber so that I could get that on there I didn't want to show you me wrestling with that but it went on okay now I've got to do is make sure it all goes back together got the check valve on the spring so that's the first thing to go in then we've got the uh, the primary cap I think they call it now that's got to go in the right way so it's it sits on it like that and you'll find it doesn't want to do that but I'm sure we'll get there now it keeps twiddling over and of course your fingers are never thin enough There we go, nicely in. Next thing is this, make sure it's nicely lubricated. You want the umbrella part of this to actually go in and it's not somewhere that you can easily push it. So once it goes in, hopefully it pulls itself back out if it gets the wrong way around. Sounds good to me. The next thing is the washer. Now the one that came with the kit actually wasn't quite the right size, so I've cleaned up the old one. Yeah, goes in a tree. Wouldn't go over the uh, stem there. Now, the only thing I need to do is get that nicely down. Yep, and we're in. Got the washer on. The washer's going to sit in there nicely. Now what I need to do is get the circlip in there. see 
not necessarily the easiest thing. However, having got it that far in, what I can do now is edge it down with a bit of luck. A bit of fiddling but I got it in in the end got it started in the bore and pushed it down with it's a 15 30 tooths long socket yeah, not, not a common one you'd have pushed it in all the way got it into the groove at the bottom doing the job right next thing we need got that and I need the little rubber cup now I can imagine this is going to be a a bit of a joy to put on. So let's put that on the outside. So that's going to go all the way down there. And then this bit's got to hook over the end of this. Well, well, uh, work to treat. And then this is to go down the outside just to hold it in place. So let's have a fiddle with that now. I'm sure that'll uh, take a little bit of tempting. So, but once we've got that in, there we go. Master cylinder, rebuilt, good to go. Yeah, pretty pleased so far. Onto the caliper, we'll give that a really good clean out. Took the rubber seal out and cleaned the groove. It wasn't too bad in there, it was just mucky old uh, brake fluid. So that's looking good. Bought myself a, an OEM Honda caliper seal. Brake fluid. It's a lubricant. There we go. It's gone nicely into there. Bit more brake fluid as a lubricant. Now the other thing I've done, which won't be obvious, I've had that in the sun, and then I gave it a good clean wipe off, and I've had that in the freezer. You can see actually it's getting condensation on it. Although they should fit in nice and easily, I've found that if you do this, it does help. Sometimes they are, you know, you want them to be a nice tight fit, but they can be too tight. Yeah, let's see. I'll stop the condensation, won't it? Oh, well, I don't know. Nicely in. Right, so, all I need to do now is put my brake pads back in. I'm just going to reuse the ones that were in the uh, the bike in the first place. I'm not going to get carried away. There we go. Magic of video. Nice and clean. What I'm going to put on is a bit of Ceramic brake lubricant. I think it just says to use grease, but while I've got this, might as well use it. Just a little bit. And away we go there. 
going to have to come out a fair way before that starts doing any breaking, isn't it? Need a new clip to go through the back of there. I'll put that on in a short while. So, there's the bits that I've cleaned up. Pretty confident it goes on that way. I'm going to stop there because I'm not going to put these brakes on until I've done the rest of the front end. So I'm going to put them to one side. Didn't get that in the right place, did I? And what I'll want to do, because I like that, I'll want to check them over again just to make sure. So I'll leave it like that for now. Right, on with the next thing.